in this integral we've got a trig function and if we're going to do it by substitution we let u equal the awkward bit here in the brackets we let u equal 1 plus cos x so go over here just draw a margin and we'll say let u equal 1 plus cos x and what we need to do is differentiate this with respect to x so therefore we have du dx is equal to well the differential 1 is 0 and the differential cos x is negative sine x we need dx du and we have du dx here so dx du is always equal to 1 over du by dx so that's going to be 1 over minus sine x so in all that's going to be minus 1 over sine x so we now substitute for our dx replace it with dx d over du du and so we have sine x cos x multiplied by 1 plus cos x to the power 4 in place of dx du then we have minus 1 over sine x so write that in brackets minus 1 over sine x and then we have du we need to tidy this up so what I notice in this example is that the sine x here cancels out with the sine x there so we'll cancel that out and what we're left with is simply a minus 1 so I'm going to put that out the front of the integral and then we have cos x multiplied by 1 plus cos x to the power 4 and that's integrated with respect to u but we now need to change what's left in x over to the variable u well the obvious substitution for 1 plus cos x we can see is u so this is going to be u to the power 4 but what about this cos x here well cos x we can get across in terms of u because cos x is going to be equal to u minus 1 so this integral then becomes minus the integral so cos x was u minus 1 pop that in there and 1 plus cos x was u so that becomes u to the power 4 and integrative respect to u so you can see we've got this all completely changed over to u's so we can now expand this bracket and so we've got minus the integral of u to the power 5 minus u to the power 4 put that in brackets couple of terms there du okay we can now integrate this in the usual way we would add 1 to the power and divide by the new power and the same here so u to the 5 over 5 plus c and we could then put this over a lowest common multiple which would be 1 30th so that would be 30 there times top and bottom by 5 and that gives us 5u to the 6 minus and times top and bottom here by 6 so we have 6u to the 5 plus c I don't really like the look of this minus out here so what I could do is reverse the two terms on the top multiply the minus 1 into the top so if we just move that up we would then have 6u to the 5 minus 5u to the 6 and I could also pull out u to the 5 at the same time so if I do that we've got u to the power 5 okay swapping these around would just leave me with a 6 there and then a minus 5u there and that would be all over 30 plus c now I'm going to substitute for u so we have u to the power 5 becomes 1 plus cos x all to the power 5 and then introduce a square bracket here because I can see brackets within brackets coming up so we've got 6 minus 5 lots of u which was 1 plus cos x 
close the bracket off and it was all over 30. All right, and don't forget the plus C on the end. Now, expanding this bracket, I can see that I'm going to get 6 take away 5, which is going to be just simply 1, and then minus 5 cos x. So I could finish this off then as equaling 1 plus, oops, 1 plus cos x to the power 5, multiplied by 6 take 5, which we said was 1, minus then the 5 cos x. And that's all over 30. And then we have plus the constant of integration. So there's a trigonometric one done for you. And hopefully you can model other trigonometric ones on similar ideas to this.